हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई डेवलप दिस नेक्स्ट ईयर अल्टीमेट वीडियो एडिटर ट्रिमर एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू कैन परफॉर्म हेयर इट्स ए फुली फ्लैश वेब एप्लीकेशन विच रन इन द ब्राउजर इट्स ए वीडियो एडिटर मेड यूजिंग एफ एम एम पी जी वेब असेंबली लाइब्रेरी एंड नेक्स्ट ईयर फ्रेमवर्क सो यू कैन सी दैट आई एम रनिंग दिस एप्लीकेशन ऑन लोकल होस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड इन माई लोकल डेवलपमेंट इन्वायरमेंट सो दिस विल ओपन इन साइड द ब्राउजर and here you need to first of all you have the option to actually select the local video file or you can even import video from youtube as well by entering the url and first of all let me show you the example of importing video from your local device so what you will see you need to choose the video file all extensions are supported mp4 avi let me select my video file so as you select the video file you need to click the load video option so now you will see that it will actually show the video inside the video player and now you can see that the video is playing we have this uh, player you can navigate to any section in the video by using this uh, control out there so the very first function here is actually allow to actually trim your video so you can actually set the starting time by clicking this button and now you can see it has set the starting time and now you can end your just set the ending time and now as i click this button you will basically see it has uh, this is my starting time and this is my ending time i need to basically trim this portion of the video in between this is starting time and this is the ending time you can even adjust it from here also you can see that you can adjust it from here also just uh, in the video and the video will also update as you basically change this value in the slider so this is the starting time and the ending time so now if you are confident if you are done right here you can play the video right here or if the video has sound you can increase the volume of the video as well by using this slider this video has not doesn't have sound so i will not and now we also have the option to change fps you can even change the resolution of the video by changing the scale quality you can even change the speed of the video so you can even crop the video so all these functionalities are built in inside this powerful video editor guys and now you can even <clears throat> now in the output section you can convert this into a gif file or you can convert this into mp4 video file webp file flv mov mp3 wave gif png all these extensions are available let me just convert this into a mp4 file and now we have this uh, convert option so first of all i will change this to a, a 1280 by so i will, what i will do is that yeah so 100% i will set it to or 75% yeah so i want full hd video so i will simply select here 50% so it will be converted into 1920 by 180 pixels so i will simply click, click the convert option convert button so now ffmpg will execute that you will see the ffmpg is running here and you can see it is also showing you the progress that it has made so once it reaches 100% it will actually show you the output video which has it trimmed from 2 second to 7 second so the length of the output video will be 5 seconds so once it is completed it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds depending upon the processing power of ffmpg web assembly in the browser so it is executing it inside the browser using the help of next year's ffmpg web assembly so once it is done it will actually show you the output video uh, you can see it is clearly showing you this uh, progress bar that you can see right here so we have also set the fps to be 30 fps speed of the video will be 1 so you can see now the output file is ready length of the output video is 4 second that we selected you will see that you can calculate you can play the video file and you can see that now there is an option here to actually download the video simply click download and now you can see that the video is successfully downloaded you will see that you can play it inside your video player it's a very fantastic application guys you don't need any third party website or to actually edit your videos you can perform it inside the browser itself it is totally uh, uh, very good application and uh, now let me show you 
if I change the quality here, if I make this video as uh, smaller, let's suppose 25% uh, the length of the video to be smaller and click on convert. So now the video will become smaller guys, you will see that the resolution of the video will become smaller. You just need to set basically your click on convert. So the minimum size of the video needs to be maintained guys here. So just make sure that your video should have a minimum size to actually run FFmpg. So below that size you can't resize video to that level. So there is also a second option right here in this editor guys which uh, if I show you if I sh load the video here let me choose this video click on load video you can see that if I turn on the volume here so you can hear actually the uh, volume in the video so we can e even adjust you can increase the volume here by using the slider this or we can decrease the volume as well you can see that we can remove the volume in the video by using the slider or we can increase it as well you can see you can hear the volume as well now if I want to you can adjust it and now if you want to decrease the speed as well you can adjust it 0 0.5 speed click on convert so now the video speed will be decreased because we have 0.5x we have decreased the speed of the video so now it is doing its processing so once it is completed it, it will be converted into this time GIF file GIF it will be converted into a GIF animation you will see that guys so now it will GIF animation will repeat unlimited number of times so if you don't want to repeat it you can set this option to only run once or loop it by default all gif files repeat unlimited number of times so this option is set by default and now you can simply download this gif file inside your computer so this makes it very much easy guys to actually make gif files from video files you can trim trim it and then you can set all these options you can scale it if you want to increase the size of this gif animation let's suppose you want to make it the resolution of the GIF file to be larger then you can set it to 100% in the scale property so the size resolution will be much higher so the size of the GIF animation will be higher because the resolution is higher so the FPS you can even control the FPS change the FPS as well so this is actually the editor guys if you are interested the link is given in the description and you can purchase the full source code and a very handy feature is also available guys if you want to load a specific YouTube video that you have if you want to do editing related to YouTube video let's like suppose this is my video that I want to load we need to copy link address and right here you can select the YouTube video option and the YouTube video will will be embedded if you click the get video data so it will actually embed that uh, YouTube video so live stream of YouTube you can see so that in this uh, this is my YouTube video is playing session, right here we will look at basically, basically trimming, a tool that perform I the trimming option on my right website, here which is free set media tool start or set it you can trim the videos YouTube videos and save it so it's a very handy feature guys which allows you to do this in various you can see that so this is actually the thing it's a fully fledged editor which is actually coded inside Next.js and this is actually the project code if you are interested you, the link is given in the description you can purchase this full video editor from my website procodestore.com after payment you will be redirected to Google Drive where you can actually uh, download the zip file and then you just need to extract that zip file and simply execute this command here and just uh, npm run dev 
so this will actually run this application on a local development environment which is start this application on local host 3000 it will actually compile your application and if you refresh it will start this application at local host 3000 and then you can either import youtube video or you can load your own local video as well so this is the actual option guys you can see how awesome this is application you can trim your videos change the quality scale change the speed as well and if you want to crop the video you can convert this into various sizes if you want to convert into a square let's suppose click on convert so this will be converted into a square you have cropped the video So you can see that the video is successfully cropped. We have various options right here. Wide, if you want to be wide here, click on convert. The GIF animation will be pretty wide. So it also shows you the uh, progress by you will see that it will become something like this. You can control all these options. You can also modify this source code as well. After purchase, you will get full commercial right to actually modify this source code or also enhance it to actually modify it add some more features as well if you are a student if you want to apply for a job this will be a very good application to actually show to your clients that you have made this application so i think it will be a very good application you can see that it makes it very much easy to actually trim your video files You can basically select any format here. Let's suppose if you want to extract audio from the video, we can also convert this into MP4, FLV, all the formats are supported. You can trim your trim the files, select your favorite format and simply do the processing. It's a very fully fleshed single page application which is there in next years using FFMPG WebAssembly library. So if you do this basically, it will show you this progress bar as well. Once it is completed, it will actually show you this uh, live preview of the output video as well. You can just con control it the starting duration and the ending duration and convert this into FLV let's suppose convert it is doing its process so it will show you the live progress bar of how much progress it has made right here and once it is completed it will actually show you the live preview of the output video as well so by default I will select mp4 because mp4 videos works pretty well you can see that it works with all the options so I, I will highly suggest that you select mp4 because uh, mp4 is widely accepted so all these options will be acceptable if you change these options you just need to just output extension must be mp4 just try out with different uh, formats if it is supported or not but mp4 is widely supported so if you change these options it will work so if you now want to decrease the size as well click on convert so the video will be much smaller so you just need to select your size very carefully so you can adjust the quality adjust the fps as well so by default it is set to 30 you can increase it to decrease the fps as well by let's suppose i want the fps to be 5 
so you can try out guys uh, the most exciting feature is the youtube video option feature guys you can load any youtube video from the url so that's the most exciting feature in this uh, project so as i already told you simply plug the url and uh, you will find this feature to be very useful uh, hello guys welcome to that. this uh, live stream so so that's the most exciting feature that you should purchase this product and uh, you can see that so if you are interested guys you will actually get this full project code and uh, let me show you actually the dependencies that we have used for this project ffmpg webassembly library we have used then we have used the axios for actually requesting youtube api for actually actually fetching that youtube video then we have used ffmpg js and next JS we are using 14 version it is compatible with all the versions so don't don't need to worry about if it is work with older versions it will work with every version then we are using stream to blob ytdl core we are also using it so it's a fully fledged project and if you want to deploy this onto a real domain name this next JS application there is a command which is available just run it npm run build so this will actually make this build folder uh, next folder it will actually bundle all your project code into a minified code so that you can deploy your next year's application onto a real domain name and uh, you can deploy your application simply run this command and it will minify all the things into a this folder next folder so now you can deploy this application onto a vps server in DigitalOcean or Versal application, all many platforms are there for actually hosting next year's application. So, if you are interested, guys, in this project, tell me if you are interested. The link is given, and if you have face any problem after purchase, I will support you at my email address and phone number. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And coming back slightly to the code site as well, if you see this is actually the all the sizes here we are doing it. It's a fully fleshed project written in TypeScript. You will see that TypeScript is the superscript of JavaScript and all this code is modifiable. You can modify this code fit to according to your needs. Once you purchase it, you can hire developer to extend this functionality as well. Or if you are a developer, then you can even modify this application according to your own needs so this is the index.tsx file and this is a public folder where we are actually storing all the libraries ffmpg webassembly library ffmpg core worker js so all these libraries are stored in the public folder and then in the source folder we have different components this is actual button component this is for cropping the video this is for the section this is for the typography and these are the actual library the clipper convert to you will download video you will see that transcoding video so this component is responsible for actually downloading the output video this is the types here utils this is actually the worker here you will see that so it's a fully fleshed product this is the global css tailwind see we are also using tailwind for styling purposes and this is a next config file and this is actually package.json so all in all guys it's a very good project you should definitely invest time and purchase it and you will get to know about this library ffmpg webassembly which allows you to actually execute ffmpg right in your browser using the help of webassembly and this is their official website this is the actual source package that we are using in the project you can read more about it inside their official website and read the documentation uh, it's a very powerful library to actually make these awesome little video editors right in the browser itself before that it was not possible to make one so it's a fully fledged application and thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next one